but sometimes the difference between battling a particularly aggressive cancer can come down to a new life-saving treatment. On a personal note, I am very passionate about innovations in clinical trials. I lost both of my parents to cancer. My dad died in his 40s after a brief battle with pancreatic cancer, which back then there were very few treatments for this disease. My mom bravely battled cancer for six years. She had stomach cancer, which is also very aggressive and often metastasizes quickly. Unfortunately, after several surgeries and treatments, she lost her fight in 2017. It sucks, cancer sucks, right? And we need to keep looking for treatments and cures so that we don't keep losing our loved ones. That's why I was very, very interested to learn about a new treatment that's giving hope to people with abdominal cancers. It's called HIPEC, and it uses a form of heated chemotherapy to target certain cancers. And joining me now is Dr. Evan Ong, a surgical oncologist at Swedish First Hill, who recently received the 2023 Cancer Surgery Top Doc designation. I had to add that because you should be so proud. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you for, for being here and for doing what you do. I, I have to say, when I heard about IPEC, I was really excited because, of course, I think both of my parents could have uh, benefited from this type of treatment. Will you explain more about what HIPEC is all about? Yeah, so it's a type of treatment uh, that's combined actually in conjunction with surgery. So it's an aggressive surgery. Mm -hmm. Selected patients um, that have intra-abdominal spread of their cancer. Uh, the idea here is you're giving chemotherapy and in a heated fashion directly to the abdominal cavity to target wow. cells within the abdominal cavity. So what kind of cancers can, can this be good for to be treating? So the patients that, uh, that are usually targeted for this type of therapy are patients that have um, either primary or metastatic lesions within the abdominal cavity. That means spread within the abdominal cavity. Okay. Um, and they can range from appendix cancers to gastric cancer, like your mother, um, ovarian cancer. There's a, a, a select few uh, types of cancers that spread directly into the abdominal cavity, and we try to target that, those patients. And they do spread around quickly, do they not, once they're in that area? Yeah, that's the difficulty of the treatment is um, because the idea here, um, when those patients have that spread of the cancer, um, many times it's associated with a very short survival. Mm -hmm. So the idea here is that you're trying to uh, do a, a very aggressive surgery to debulk the disease and then you give the intraperitoneal chemotherapy to prevent the recurrence of that. Right. And that's been shown to prolong survival, uh, help with symptoms, um, so there is a palliative nature to it too. Oh, that's amazing. So it can help with that pain that, that keeps going on. Um, compared to other treatments, you know, my mother, she actually, they took her stomach out completely and that actually really impacted her quality of life. Compared to other ways of treating these diseases, how is this, maybe a benefit or, or an easier road for the patient? Well, I, I would say that the, the surgery itself is fairly aggressive. Okay. So patients do need some time to recover from this length of surgery because it is combined with a big, pretty big aggressive surgery. Um, but that the idea here is you're finding this balance between um, helping their quality of life and extending their survival. Obviously there are patients that are, um, these are patients that are highly selected. There are patients that don't meet the right. kind of criteria for mm -hmm. this procedure. So you have to be fit, you have to have a volume of disease that isn't too ex extensive, mm -hmm. and, um, but when those patients meet that criteria, they definitely gain a benefit from the procedure. So how, what sets Swedish apart from other centers that perform this? Well, we've been doing this procedure since 2014, okay. and uh, we probably have about, between myself and my partner, about 30 years of experience doing this procedure. So okay. we are the um, probably the most experienced uh, institution within Seattle. When you mentioned it was a very intense surgery, um, obviously very much worth it if it helps. What is, how long is recovery? What is that recovery look like? I mean, if it's in your stomach, how does that work? Yeah, so, I mean, typically patients will undergo this surgery and be in the hospital for about two weeks. And mm -hmm. so it is a, uh, quite an extensive recovery within the hospital. And then, you know, the post-operative procedure in terms of post-op recovery at home, somewhere between three and six months. But you know, if survival can be managed all the way to 10 years, it's worth it to, to yeah. undergo this procedure. Amen to that. Before I let you go, what is next for, for HIPEC or other treatments such as this? Well, I, I think the future will be trying to expand the, the selection of type of patients, mm -hmm. uh, varying the type of chemotherapy, and then always just having the right patients for that, for that procedure. Yeah, thank you so much for, for 
sharing this with us and, and something that many people, I don't know, out there may have never heard of. So I'm really grateful to you today. Thanks for having me on. And of course, to learn more about the HIPEC treatment, go to Swedish.org slash HIPEC.